we're getting so close. <laughs> Seven fifty eight three oh four. All right, I don't know what the right time is. We rang it after midnight, we rang it after one, two, and three. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, we need to bring a Pokemon back on the team. And you know what? While we're here, another fusion. Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and fuse Cubone. Playstorm9944, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. If you have a favorite saying, what is it? We'll do we'll do Cubone and Magby. I think that would be pretty cool. LMAO is your favorite saying, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's a good one. Alright, uh, Craw made this sprite. It looks a little awkward, but, uh, it's, it's very, um, it, it has a lot of promise for the evolutions. Kubi! <laughs> the live lonely or the live lonely Pokemon. It pines for the mother it will never see again. When it is fatigued, black smoke will be mixed with the flames. A fake advertisement. You've got it. Uh, let me just finish taking care of all of these things here. All right, another fusion Pokemon in the box. Oh, we also need to um, name it. Uh, we'll name it after the fake advertisement here. So, uh, uh, Blazestorm, uh, in case you don't know, a fake advertisement is uh, where I take cards from the card game Snake Oil and I make a fake advertisement pitch for the item that the two cards create. The two cards will have nouns on them. It creates the name or a description of the product. Um, it's all good fun. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Um, <laughs> Vikings have been a valuable source of historical uh, information, events, and uh, technology uh, advancements, as we all know. And one of their more famous inventions has been reinvented for the modern age. Um, I'm bringing to you today the horn pipe. Now, horns in uh, the Viking era were used for a multitude of purposes, uh, primarily for uh, creating cups to drink out of. Um, however, uh, for the uh, more distinguished Vikings who uh, wanted to uh, use 
tobacco because tobacco was a thing during Viking time, I'm sure. Um, they used horns to uh, uh, hold their tobacco and, 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 and smoke it out of the pipes. And so that's, that's the product we are bringing here for you today. Reinvented, bringing it back, retro, any other buzzword I can possibly think of. The horn pipe. While I do advertise these products, I do not endorse them. Thank you. <laughs> I'll admit that wasn't one of my best ones, but I did not know what I was going to do with those two words. And God forbid I tried to come up with something for pipe horn. <laughs> horn pipe, smoke weed and get lung cancer. <laughs> there, there's, there's a lot of things you can do with it, I'm sure. Oh, wait, no, uh, we gotta go back and name the Kubi. Um, I'm going to name it Bubble, because it's basically a fire skull. By the way, we are, uh, nicknaming our Pokemon based off of Legend of Zelda characters and enemies. And this one will be a Bubble. Almost done exploring around here. Ooh, a metronome. Very nice. Uh, so also, uh, Blazestorm, do you have a favorite Pokemon? Uh, whenever I get someone new to the, uh, the channel here, um, if I am playing a Pokemon game, I do try to ask if you have a favorite Pokemon. Aegislash, very nice choice. Mine is Ninetales. Oh yeah, we gotta get the flute. Uh, we gotta get a flute from him by getting the badge. That's okay. A uh, wee pear berry. So this is a uh, randomized playthrough of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, the wild Pokemon have been randomized, and also the like field items, but trainer Pokemon are still the same. Uh, have you played this game before, Blazestorm? No? I, I would highly recommend it if, if you have the opportunity to uh, um, get the game and play it. It's, it's been really fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Alright, we got the Greasiest Orb. Alright, now how do I get down to the sewers then? I Oh, right here. Duh. Wow. Whoa, this kid's not messing around. Better make a run for it. Drat, they ran away. Fox, these Team Rocket grunts knew about that old man we saw in the Pokemon Tower. Looks like it's some bloke called Mr. Fuji who owns a Pokemon Orphanarium. It's called an Orphanage. I was just pressing them for more information, but you distracted me and they got away. Hmm. <laughs> Well, they were just grunts anyway, the lowest of the low, so I doubt they know anything worthwhile. What we need to do is find whoever's in charge of this uh, Team Rocket and take the whole thing down from the top. I guess I'll have a look around for their headquarters. With so many of these grunts in this city, it just has to be nearby. I'll let you know if I find anything, Fox. That is, if I haven't already taken down their whole organization by the next time I see you. <sighs> Smell you later. Well, at least that gives reason to why you find him in the self company. What can all this noise possibly be about? Little boy, get out of the sewers. <laughs> Is this where all of the commotion was coming from? There I was, grooming Tangela's vines when the poor thing got startled by a loud noise and it tore out one uh, and tore out one of its vines. Oh, but it'll grow back, don't worry. Did I hear that Team Rocket was causing trouble again? Oh, they've been all over the city lately. Rumor has it that they made their base somewhere in the sewers. Anyway, bye. By the way, my name is Erica. I run the gym next door. 
When I'm not tending to my flowers. What? Team Rocket have kidnapped Mr. Fuji? This is worse than I thought. We have to do something about it. Follow me. We have to go after them. We'll get to the bottom of this. I'm actually surprised she wants to, to help. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming a splash, Blaze Storm. I do apologize. Uh, uh, splashes don't do anything, but they do let me know that you're here in chat. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Erica will kill all your encounters? That's not a good sign. Good thing I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> let's see if the coffee I bought will allow me to go through the, the checkpoint here. Oh. Hey, it's $100,000 if you want to go through here. You can't go to Saffron City without paying the toll. That's the rule. Rude. Alright, well, um... <laughs> 100k. It's, it's a little steep. I have to assume that if you did save up 100,000, they would let you in, but it's not worth it. <laughs> or I wonder if it's coded in the game where if you do happen to have over 100,000, he says it'll be a billion dollars to get in. Let's team up. We'll be stronger that way. I'll use my herbal medicine to heal your Pokemon, so don't worry about that. Nice. Nice. Duskull and Centret. Oh god, your weeping Jella looks terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Duskull is a pretty good Pokemon. We might get the opportunity to catch one for uh, future fusions. Oh, hey, Ariados. I technically have an Ariados. <laughs> it makes really good fusions. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of um, good sprites of Duskull fusions on the uh, Infinite Fusion subreddit. our opportunity uh, we'll throw a we'll throw a dust ball sure nice do awesome level 37 awesome Hey, you guys aren't from Team Rocket. Hey, we claim the sewers first. Go find your own place to hang out. <laughs> Max 
Parks and Virginia with a Volt Sang and a Coughing. The Voltorb Weezing looks really cool. I like that a lot. Alright, one more level for Alana, and then we have the uh, the final form. What a perfect place to hang out, right? <laughs> that has to be, like... A pretty bad place to just kind of stand around. Look around all you want, you won't be able to find our secret hideout. Uh, I mean, I'd rather not be in here, to be completely honest. <laughs> There we go, Alana's level 20. Uh, let's send out Dodongo. So with um, with the Pokemon community game, you need to do Poke Catch and then Space and then Great Ball. Yeah, like that. It's a little weird. Oh, but you didn't have to start, so I, you've obviously played with the community game before. Okay, never mind. Here we go, Alana's evolving. Sunflora Gyarados, here we go. <laughs> hmm. Giara <laughs> Flora. This doesn't look like a custom fusion. Let's see if the reverse has anything better. <laughs> it, it does look goofy. Now, it currently is... Um, water grass. So the other one would be grass flying, I'm pretty sure. Oh god. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Sundos. <laughs> I mean, it looks better than the other one, that's for sure. It's still a little goofy looking, though. <laughs> it, it's, it's slightly better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, it's it's still grass water type. Okay. And it's it's been lowered down to level sixteen, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that means we will give you back the experience share. Oh, that's right, I was trying to get that Pokeball there. Double Dusko!
You know what, Weepinjella? I really hoped you were going to use Razor Leaf that time, and I'm sad that you didn't. <laughs> uh, I think this is my second Adamant Orb. I I've already caught one. Um, I'm not really going for any particular, like, fusions or anything. Um, I'm just kind of mixing and matching, see what I think looks cool or, or, or what would be an interesting pairing. Um, and I, I'm trying to avoid, if possible, having fusions on the team where it's like I'm repeating certain Pokemon. Another metal powder, that's fine. I don't know if we're going to be able to find the secret base before the end of stream, but that's okay. We'll we'll try. Um really strong that's why we can't fail okay <laughs> Joffrey sends out a tentacate that looks terrifying <laughs> I would not want to to come across that in in any capacity ever <laughs> Bye, Weepin' Jello. It's a glue cute. Now, the, the question here is, um, are these the Pokemon that we will be facing off uh, against when we face Erica, Or does she have a separate team from these for the gym battles? That's none of my business why you're in the sewers? I mean, I guess that's correct. I'm going to run away from these wild battles. We really don't need to be doing them. Looks like Raticate War Tentacruel Skin. Yeah, it, it looked a little something like that. Sun Skull. Warm air is coming out of the vent. Gross. You people really shouldn't be hanging around in the sewers. Neither should you. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> Golmer and Nidofing. Ugh. <laughs> that Golmer looks uh, a little tired. You know, aside from the fact that she's helping healing, every enemy, uh, like, team has poison-type Pokemon. Erica is not that much of a help to me. Maeve wants to learn Double Edge. Um, no. No, thank you. If 
Paragon wants Crunch. Yes, please. Let's get rid of Headbutt. We don't need Worry Seed. What is going on? Impossible! The sewers are a public area. We have the right to be here. I forbid you from going further into the sewers. Um, I mean, it's a public area. You can't tell me not to do something, right? The water level is set to dry. Would you like to flood the sewers? Yes, please. The sewers have been flooded. Oh, you're leaving? No. I wasn't... <laughs> A light change? Alright, uh, what color would you like the lights change to? Green? Alright, you've got it. Green! Oh, there's probably something here. If it's dry, then I go down there. Yeah. We can't miss out on every single potential treasure. Aha! Oh, it's just the TM for Swagger. Boo. I really regret randomizing the items and TMs in this game. I've gotten a couple of good things, but mostly just, like, bad stuff. Alright, so that was literally the only thing, the, the TM. Alright, I think it's time for a repel. After all this time, finally. Oh, hey, that guy is swimming around in it. That's pretty gross. Wait, what? Why can't I, um... Was I supposed to do something while it was still dry with that? It didn't prompt me to do anything. Oh. Alright, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Is that guy swimming in the sewers? Yeah, he was standing down there, and then we flooded it. So he didn't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> Psychic gem, pretty cool. Oh, that guy's swimming in it too. I would feel bad if they weren't criminals. <laughs> so you figured out how to work the water levels, didn't you? Oh, 
Oh, it's meant to be like oil. I get it. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like the idea for that fusion. Or if not oil, then ferrofluid. Because that would make sense for why it's all spiky, too. Yeah, ferrofluid. Yep. <laughs> Don't bother looking for a secret hideout around here. You won't find one. Well, um... For the time being, I mean, we do need to... Stop. Uh, because it is the end of stream. Uh... We... Did not get as far as I thought I would... At the end of this, unfortunately. Just because there was a lot more trainer battles to get through. Between the two, uh... The two towns here. Lavender and Celadon, but that's okay.